I find this method works really great for all types of horses. Horses that are difficult to catch or horses that have never been touched before. It works on an approach and retreat type of training style and I find it to be non-stressful and very useful. But my key tip is make sure that you do it in a small pen. So the first thing I'm actually doing in the beginning of this session is I'm just walking around her, trying to get her to hook onto me a little bit. So when she's looking at me and turning her body towards me and even stepping in my direction, those are all positive signs that I'm looking for. And by me walking away when she does those things, I'm trying to engage her natural curiosity. I want her to follow me around the pen a little bit, if I can. This is just a really good place to start before you um, start working with the halter. It just gives you an idea of if this horse is wanting to be with you or if their focus is really not with you at all. And from what I could tell from this video today is that her focus was definitely interested in me. So that was a good sign. This might not be something that you would do with a horse that was clearly uninterested in your presence, was looking to escape, or was worrying about other horses or something like that, that would require you to just go ahead and start pushing them around the pen a little bit and trying to get their focus on you. The best way to work on this type of training exercise is in a smaller pen like this or in a round pen. This exercise doesn't work great in a big open field because you want your horse to not be able to run away from you in a large area. You still want them to not feel trapped and be able to move their feet and you want to be able to control their feet as well. But it works better if you can do it in a smaller pen so that you have some more control and so that they can't get away from you as much. So basically what I'm doing is every time she looks at me, I take a step back and take the pressure off. If she's not paying attention to me, then I slowly work my way up towards her until she looks at me and then I step back again. And in the beginning, I take more steps back and when I get farther into this exercise like I'm doing here, I only take one or two steps back because I'm trying to work my way up to where I can pet her. And I sped this up a little bit so that it's not so monotonous. I stuck my hand out here for her to smell. And a good rule of thumb is leave your hand out there just long enough to where you think they're about to pull away and then you pull away first. Again, that's just kind of trying to engage a horse's natural curiosity. And also it gives them a reward for coming near you. And you take the pressure away before they do. So now I was able to actually work my way up to petting her. And she seems content, not stressed. She doesn't seem like she wants to run away, so I'm taking this advantage or I'm taking advantage of this to actually pet her a little bit and make it a positive experience. If she was showing me signs that this was really uncomfortable for her then I would take the pressure away sooner. So here she chose to walk away before I took the pressure off so what I'm going to do is just push her forward a little bit. She didn't run away or get really nervous so I just pushed her a little bit. You got to play it with how your horse is reacting. So I'm just going to start the exercise over again. That's something that we call the restart. So 
So you can see when I put my hand out, it was just pushing her past her comfort zone a little bit there. And then she moved away that time. So just take your time. There. Now she let me pet her. This time I took the pressure away before she could. So that she got a release for standing still and let me pet her. So that she understands that that was the right decision to make. So here I now have the halter. And she's a little bit worried. I can see that she thinks I'm going to catch her. So she decided to walk away, so that's fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually push her a little bit harder, just so that she knows that when she decides to walk away when I have the halter, then she gets to be pushed around a little bit. If she decides to stand still and let me come up to her, then she doesn't have to do anything. And you can use that method of training for a lot of different things, but it works really great for teaching a horse how to let you walk up to them and how to be caught. So that was really, really good. She actually kind of came near me and drew into me and hooked on a bit. So that was great progress there. And I'm walking up to her slow, but I want you to take something away that I'm not trying to sneak around her. I am walking up to her slowly, but with purpose. So here she decided to move away instead of look at me. So again, I push her around the pen a bit. Just so she knows, okay, well, this lady has control of my feet a little bit. She can push me around. If I decide to walk off. And you don't have to do it very much with a horse like this. You just do it enough so that it get the point of it. And then I just start the exercise over again. The thing to remember with this is that don't rush it, take your time. This might be an exercise that you have to repeat a few times before they get it and before you feel comfortable with them being in a larger pen. But it is worth the effort, trust me. The most annoying thing is a horse that refuses to be caught. It's worth it to put this time in to teach them how to do this. So here I'm now just rubbing her with the halter. And I put the rope over her neck and that was a little bit too much for her comfort zone. So again, I just push her around. If she wants to leave, then I'll tell her that that's fine, but I'm gonna push you and let you stop when I tell you to. Another thing I'm kind of doing is I have some horses in another pen behind me and I'm using them to my advantage in a way. So she's gonna want, I'm gonna put her on that end of the pen because she's gonna wanna look at those horses. So if she wants to look that way, then I happen to be in that direction as well. So I'm just doing this over again. I pet her first, then I rub her with the halter, and then I see how she reacts to me putting the rope over her neck. She did really good that time. And like I said, this horse has been caught a few times. She's been handled quite a bit. So this is not new to her, but she is definitely testing to see what I am willing to um, put up with, I guess. What I'm willing to let slide. And she's also not sure of me. She's never seen me a whole lot before in her life. I've only had this horse for two days. So this is a lot for her to take in. So I managed to get her caught. She was great. She let me put the halter on her. And then we just lead her around a bit. So I would say that was a success. I think this session took me about 20 minutes to do in total. Everything about it was low stress. She never got super worried. I never got frustrated with her. I just took my time and let her tell me 
how much time she needed to do this exercise. And like I said, you can do this with multiple different horses. Just make sure you do it in a smaller pen. And now I'm just taking this time to pet her all over, pick up her feet, all that good stuff. This is a separate exercise in itself, but I went to pick up her foot a few times and she didn't want to and she kept trying to bite me, so I went ahead and sent her off and then just started over again. But like I said, separate exercise, but you could utilize it if you wanted to. And this video, I'm gonna just end it with, I am not a professional trainer, I do not claim to be, this is just my journey with my horses and things that have worked for me and me wanting to share it with you. So take care. Thanks.